Hey everybody, it's Gladys with Road to Self-Reliance, and I've got kind of a quick video for you today, but it's it's a good tip to keep in mind anytime you're getting ready to throw out or get rid of any kind of fabric. So it could be clothing, it could be towels, um, old bedding, something like that. And the tip is to stop and think, could I use this for something else? Now, one way to do that is if you've got a shirt that is now too big or maybe it's got a stain on it that's in a place where you could cut it down and remake it, you could do something like that. Just remake your clothes. Um, you could take one of your tops and cut it down to fit a, a child or you know someone that's got an extra large shirt, maybe cut it down to somebody that wears something smaller do stuff like that but if it's really needing to go if it's got tears if it's got stains something like that you can cut it up and use it for rags around your house so towels are perfect to do this with that because they can make great smaller towels and very absorbent pieces to have on hand for stuff but what I've got today is something a little different, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to use it. So what I've got here is a pair of shorts that my husband had, and the life's going to do funky things, but that's not what this is about. Here are what we got. We've got some holes in it. There's some holes on the other side, some holes there. Now, granted, for work around the house or something, these could be great. Um, to get dirty and all that but they don't really fit him anymore so he he was like we just need to cut these up and use them for rags which I completely agree with so the first thing to do is see if there's anything on there you can take off and reuse so I've already removed the button and anytime I remove buttons like that I've revived the tradition of a button jar so I just put them in a jar and keep them there Whenever I need a button, I go to the jar and see what I've got. Now this also has pieces of Velcro here, which you might find useful if you do cut it out. If you do a lot of sewing, you may want to take the zipper out and reuse it, but um, I'm not going to worry about that today. There's also some ties down here at the bottom. And I may pull this out and, and use this to tie up plants with. It's, it was stretchy at one time, and it's not now, but I think to tie up plants with, it would be great. So then what you do is just start cutting it into pieces. Now, some of the pieces, like this one, I could get a fairly large piece there. Over here with this pocket and stuff, I may not get as much, but certainly this pocket would be a piece. But what I want you to think about is, this is, it's cotton, but it's not really super absorbent fabric. But this is going to be perfect for real messy, dirty things where I just need to clean it up and maybe throw it out. So, like if I cook something in the cast iron, I make some bacon in the cast iron skillet, and I just need to clean it out real good, this would be perfect for it. And again, I could wash it out rinse it out real good and probably reuse it for that again a couple of times before it's just so messed up it wouldn't work at all but it's just great to have a rag bag to keep on hand because there's all types of things you can use rags for and you don't need to buy them paper towels you could um, cut up fabric and make tissues to blow your nose in and you don't have to buy them in a box so it's a way of becoming more self-reliant because then you aren't depending on availability in the store to take care of some of your personal needs like that. So, let me get my handy scissors. These belong to my grandmother, so they are heavy and sharpen. Looks like they need to be cleaned up a little bit. You know, living beachside does that. Um, but they still cut great and I always think of her when I use them. So let's cut up these. Mm -hmm. 
is a great start there. Um, for now, I'm going to use some of these small and then I'm going to leave some of these larger because I can always cut them down later if I find that's what I need to do. Anyway, that's my quick tip for you today. Just a way to reuse some of what you already have so you're becoming more self-reliant, not depending on the store to have things in stock, not needing to spend money to buy it so you're saving your money and just knowing you can take care of yourself with what you already have around. If you do something like this, cut something apart, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you did and how it came out. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and share the channel with other people. I'd really like to grow my subscribers on here and develop more of a community where we're helping each other become more self-reliant, self-sufficient, and resilient. Anyway, that's all for today. Until next time.